do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, we got something a little different. Now, y'all know me personally. I am the women whisperer. I understand girls uh, very, very fluently. I, I speak female very fluently, if y'all did not know. You know what I'm saying? I used to be in the game. I'm not in the game no more. I'm married. I have a, a beautiful, amazing wife. So I don't even, I don't need all that other stuff. But that don't mean I, I forgot the game. You know what I'm saying? Today, th this video part of my recommended. I was going to watch it by myself just because I was curious to see what the FG was about to say. But um, I figured I might as well watch it with y'all. So I'll put y'all on game two and see if what she's saying is true or not. Basically, she's going to teach people how to make a woman obsess over you. How to make a girl love you. How to get any girl that you want. And I'm going to let y'all know if that's really the truth. Because y'all know girls be out here lying, talking about, oh, just be a good guy. No, that's not the truth. So we're going to watch through this. And I'm going to let y'all know what's going on. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. If y'all agree with the heck she's saying, ladies, if you're watching this, let us know which perspective y'all think is right. If I contradict something she says, you think that's right, or if you think what the F she said is right. And be honest, none of that foo foo. But without further ado, let's hop right into this, man. What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I'm gonna give you. First of all, I have no idea who the heck this woman is. I don't know why she popped up on my recommended page. I've never seen this person before, but yeah. Two tips. Only two fucking tips on how to make a woman obsessed. And so she'll be like, oh my God, where's Jamal? Jamal hasn't called. She's going to be like that. I, trust me. And it's easy ones. You just got to be chill, kind of be chill. But yes, so because, you know, in this society, it's always on you guys, always on you. You got to take her out. You got to call. You got to make sure uh, she feels good. You got to make her happy. Uh, you got to... We got to pause real quick. Her house looks fire. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, I'm looking at her house. Her kitchen looks fire. Her, 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 this, I like the aesthetic of her house. Anyways, pay for the dates. You gotta pay for her clothes sometimes. Like it's always you, 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 you. I'm telling you, you need to stop doing that. Me, 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 me. You need to stop doing this, and do what I say. And what does the woman has to do? Look good and probably give some pussy. That is it. That's all they bring nowadays. That's all they need to bring because you guys are so thirsty and are allowing them to do whatever. This is true. Dudes, you are your own downfall. You are too thirsty. You are making yourself, you're making, you're making yourself, you know what I'm saying? You're doing too much and not getting nothing. Because you're, you're, you're thirsty. That's your problem. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't chase out the female. I'm just saying you is being too thirsty. Like a freaking dog that ain't drunk water in 30 years. I'm telling you, when a guy goes on a date, it feels like, I hope she'll like me. When a girl goes on a date, she's like, I hope I like him. Again, disclaimer, because it's going to come off, I'm generalizing a lot. But it is a lot of women that do that. Women think they're better than men nowadays. And nobody is better. Like, it's a person thing. It's not because you're a female, all of a sudden you're better than a man. When you do everything for women, she just gets accustomed to that. And she feels like, well, I deserve. And since she deserves, now she's higher than you. Because right now you put her on a pedestal and that's your role to go do and be the, the little like servant for her because she's better than you. So then she, she feels like you need to do that. Some guys have no issues doing it. You want to do all that shit for me? I'm going to appreciate it. But a bunch of bitches don't appreciate shit. So you shouldn't do shit for them and they should do shit for you. Why is she yelling? What is she so bad about? But this is low-key true. Like... I, if y'all ever seen them things where it's like dudes be going up to girls talking about what do you bring to the table and then girls come out with the foolish response talking about I am the table. Like, be realistic. You know what I'm saying? Be realistic. Like she said, we, we all equal. Man and a woman is equal. We not you up here and I'm down here or I'm up here and you down here. We all equal. We just pe persons at the end of the day. I'm agreeing with basically everything she's saying so far. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, besides like, I'm a dude. I love taking care of my wife. You know what I'm saying? I love providing for her and doing all that. So I don't mind like doing all that stuff for her. You know what I'm saying? But it's not, I'm not doing it for her and she's not doing nothing for me. You get what I'm saying? Because with these girls that don't appreciate you, you become Miss. My Bro, first option I don't straight. care about this. Well, Who are you? Say I get off my work. freaking screen. I love the courses. He's the nice guy and you do everything. You do everything for her. You make her happy. Uh, she has no worries in the world. 
And the bitch is gonna be like, he's too nice. I don't like him. He doesn't have a backbone. I feel like I can work all over him. This shit makes no fucking sense. Do not ask me, but it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, you, you don't need to ask because I'm telling you. It makes no sense. How are you gonna treat me really good? And I may be like, oh yeah, he, he has no backbone. He's too nice. That's the problem. Girls, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop pausing it so much. I'm gonna stop pausing it so much, but this is, this is, this is what narrows down girls, right? Girls do not want a nice guy. Girls want a bad guy. Girls want a jerk. Girls want a douchebag. But they want the douchebag to be nice to them. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't want them to be nice. Like to, they they want they want to change a bad guy into a good guy once they're in a relationship. What attracts them is a bad guy. But what makes them want to stay with that individual is like a good guy, but not overly good. Like, girls are so freaking confused. They don't know what the heck they want. But they be mad when they get a bad guy because that's what attracted them. They're attracted to the bad guy to do that, treat them like crap. But then when they get in a relationship with them, they want them to not treat them like crap no more. They want them to treat them good. So they're trying to change a bad guy to a good guy just because you with them. That's not how it freaking works. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm done pausing it, though. Fuck. But it is reality. I, I don't know. Me, I love doing shit for my dude. And because I want to make him happy and I want him to feel like he kind of need me and it's like oh she's the best i've ever had you know it's i feel like that you know that's what i want but these women they don't care if the dude don't think she's the shit they're only there for him to do something the problem with you guys is that you think you gotta do all them shits to get sex because a lot of you just want to fuck you know i hear that too but you don't even need to do all of that to fuck you don't you just gotta flip the script so then you get leverage. So my two tips. Number one is make her invest in you. Yes, she's gonna invest time, but the most important thing for her to invest is her fucking money. Bitches got money. Bitches don't wanna spend none of their money besides nails, toes, uh, a day at the spa, even the day at the spa. That's my, that might be too much, you know, you need to pay for the day at the spa for them. Or they're spending money on clothes, hair, uh, you know shit that's for them when it comes to the date and dating you the bitch don't want to spend none of the money all of a sudden she's broke she's broke but you still see her like looking hella fly new clothes every day you're like oh so you're not broke no she's not broke she got money but when it comes to dating she doesn't want to put a penny towards you so what you need to do is stop paying stop fucking paying and why I say that is because once Okay. Well, okay, so realistically, right, if it's a good woman, you're going to want to pay for the stuff. But a good woman is someone who's not just taking advantage of you and make you pay for everything. You know what I'm saying? If it's a bad woman and she's sitting here to just stop paying flip the script, me personally, I just wouldn't waste my time with a bad woman. Like, why am I, I, I'm not going to go through the, the, the effort and the work to flip the switch, to flip the script and just stop paying for them. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't need, I don't, I don't want a bad woman that I got to do all that. If I got to flip the switch, the, the script on them, I don't see myself being with them realistically at all you know what i'm saying so that's the little flaw with that but i mean do what you want to do if you're just trying to get some cooler mama then yeah do this but if you try to have like a real like a real woman eh, this ain't it a woman a bitch a bitch feels like uh she invested some of her money some of her hard earned money she's like i need a return i i invested now I need a return. It's like when you go on the stock market, you put your money there and you want a return. You want some money. Bitches are the same. They want a fucking return and the return is going to be you. She needs to get you. She needs that relationship now because she kind of pay for it. You know, you got to make her spend money on you, spend time on you, make her go out of her way for you. Like for example, if she comes over, tell her, hey, can you bring me a water? Hey, can you bring me some candy? I don't know what the fuck you want. It doesn't have to be something expensive. I mean, yeah, I get that's something small. You ain't asking them for a Gucci bag or nothing. But like on the way over, put me up like some Sour Patch Kids or something, little baby. You know what I'm saying? Expensive. It just has to be like. My Bruh, no, straight. please, not the well, ugly hairline guy. Say I did my homework. I love the courses. Like she gotta make a stop and get that for you and bring it to you. Or this one is a little bolder. When you guys go out, if she's the one who calls you or texted you telling you, "Hey, can we go out? Can we do something?" Yeah, sure, we can do something. But when the check comes, I do not care how you're gonna feel. You might feel a little crazy. Let the bitch pay. Yes, let her pay. Me personally, Why I couldn't do, do that. Why do you have to pay? She invited you. I mean, yeah, 
like I said, it really depends on the type of woman. If it's just like a shorty you're just trying, you know what I'm saying, have a little fun with, then sure, yeah, do that. But like a real relationship, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a real relationship, then I guess what she's saying is valid. But if it's if it's if you I mean, if you're not looking for a real relationship, what she's what she's saying is valid. But if you are looking for a real relationship, I ain't gonna lie to you. Don't even waste your time with people like that where you gotta do all these tricks and maneuvers and all this stuff to make them like you. She should pay. Or treat you right. Why are you inviting me and then expecting me to pay? You invited me, so I thought you got me. You can play as gullible as you want, you know. I thought you got me. And then if she gets mad or if she thinks like you're lame, oh well, that means that's not the bitch for you because obviously her money is just for her and you're here to provide for everything. No. Also, if she does that, that's the way for you to be like, okay, I can't be with a bitch like that, so next. You cut her off. You let her pay still. I don't care. You cut her <laughs> off after that. On the other side, the woman who is going to actually pay for the bill, now she's going to be like, damn, I invested like 120. I need a return. Watch. She's going to feel like she got to get her money's worth. Another scenario, let's say you invited her to go to a party. You can just tell her, hey, uh, can you pick up a bottle of uh, tequila before you come so we can uh, take that to the, to the party? If she has an issue with it, it's no problem. It's no problem. You don't get mad. You just tell her, okay, baby, it's no problem. I'm going to go to the party by myself. This is it. If she really want to go, if she really fucks with you, she's going to be like, okay, I'm going I'm to get the bottle. If she don't fuck with you and just feel like her money is too good to be spent on you, you let that bitch go. That's the problem with you guys. Sometimes you are so into like the girl and you're like, oh no, I need to get her. No, you don't need to get the bitch. If she is not a good bitch, why do you want her? You move on until you find somebody that has no issue with spending money true. on you. That's very true. I'm not saying it's a characteristic of a good woman. No, I don't call women the B word. I don't do that. I've never in my life done that. But yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, what is it going to do to her to spend fucking $50? Like seriously. And if she's not willing to do none of that, she's not the woman for you. At all. Also, one other problem is that you think sex is an investment. Sex is not an investment. The bitch gave her pussy to how many dudes? No, not shaming girls fucking, but just like, it's not an investment. It's not nothing special. It's not something she only gives to you. She gives that to everybody. But her spending money on you, that's very rare. So another example is, you know, bitches want to go on trip. Yeah, let her, uh, let her plan the trip. Let her pay for her own ticket. I'm not saying she got to pay for the whole trip. Because come on now, you, we're pushing it. But let her pay for her own ticket. Let, let you guys split the room maybe, you know. She needs to fucking participate financially. Because again, like if you give her everything she wants and she's not a person that's grateful, she's just going to feel like she deserves it and that you got to keep going and do it. And then she's not valuing you. Because at this point, all she has to offer is beauty and sex. And if you're okay with it, that says a lot about you. But hey, we're not, I'm not here to judge you. But if you're okay with it, that's fine. But just know you're going to have to spend money. But for the guys who want to find a girl that's not... At Universal Come Tech on, bro. How many freaking ads going to be in this freaking video pissing me off, cars. man? We get it. Who is this? You're not even happy in this ad. I'm not going to treat them like that. You got to make her spend money. Or another example. That's my last one. If you guys live in two separate states and you guys want to see each other, make her either buy your own ticket, the whole ticket. Yeah, you buy your own ticket, bitch. Yes. <laughs> or at least split it. Do not buy the girl the ticket. Don't do it. Unless you just want to fuck and that's what you do. You fly girls out, whatever. But let her get herself flewed out. Like she's flewing. She's flewing. flewing. She's flying herself out, you know? And you know, she's going to be on the plane. She's going to be thinking about, oh my God, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be good. We're going to do this. Because at this point, since she put her money on that ticket, she's going to be like, it got to be a good trip. It got to be good. We that is true. I guess that is true. I never thought about that. I guess that is true get upset like yeah i need to get my money's worth it's i need to get that reward you gotta make women feel like you're the prize in a way and that you're the catch because you know a lot of women are out here talking about there's no good men out here yeah well make her feel like you are one of the good men and that she's gonna be like i need to get him i need to catch him he needs to be locked in with me so that's all so my number two tip is be mysterious Stay fucking mysterious. I am telling you, women are enamored with mystery. There is something in their mind that they're like, oh my God, I don't know what he thinks. I don't know if he likes me. I don't know if he got other bitches. I don't know. I don't. The more there is I don't knows and question mark in her head, the more she wants you. She want to know. Like, it sounds crazy. One it really does because that's literally how girls be thinking. Like, this is a fact. You have, like, 
they don't, they need, it's so weird. And girls, girls don't even understand why they're like this. Come on, man. Time, it sounds crazy. Like if you go and tell her, I love you. I want to do this for you. And let's do this, you know, plan a whole life. Bitches who are not grateful, they will bitches leave. who don't appreciate nothing, are not going to be happy with that. Exactly. Crazy, but I'm telling you, they're not. So maybe you need to choose your women better so then they can appreciate when you are actually like that. But if you're not true, if somebody is like that, that's what you need to do. Do not tell them how much you like them. Do not tell them uh, that you're ready to run across the world for her. Do not... Uh, give her too much attention. I know we're playing game because maybe you want to see her so bad, but For some women, it's not good. You cannot give her too much attention For example, if she asks you stuff like do you love me? And you just like yeah, I like you but you know we're, we're just having a good time You know you stay evasive as much as you can stay vague. Don't ever like show her your hand Some women need to be played with. I'm sorry it's sad, <laughs> But they don't know how to act so you got you. I'm sorry. You got to teach them, or you don't teach them, and you just keep on moving. You know, her not knowing exactly how you feel about her makes her want you more. Sounds nuts. Exactly. She's it's, gonna put in It doesn't some make work. sense, but it makes complete sense. This is literally a factual statement. They, they, they just, listen. So you got you. I'm sorry. You got to teach them, or you don't teach them, and you just keep on moving. You know, her not knowing exactly how you feel about her makes her want you more. When they don't know what you're thinking, they want you more. This is a factual statement. For I don't know why, but it's it's I, people are just weird. I mean, women are just weird. Sounds nuts. She's gonna put in some more work. I am telling you. Also, after a day, don't send her texts like, "Oh my God, we had a good time. I can't wait until we go out again." No, you can send the text you made at home or some shit like that. But don't tell her how you felt about the date because you telling her, "Hey, it was a good time. Hopefully, we can go again." Some bitches is gonna translate, you know, in their commuting, you know, talking about, oh, he's thirsty. He likes me too much. He got no other bitches. I don't want him because apparently he don't get bitches. Makes no sense. I don't want my man to have hella options. I want my man to just be with me. But he gotta be good. But obviously when you get good men, they have hella options. So that's, that's the thing. But what sense does it make that when somebody tells you they really like you, then you're like, oh, no. Because I'm telling you again, I'm talking shit about women today, I know, but some women have issues. I mean, some men too, don't get me wrong. But some women have issues. You're being too nice, it's unattractive. How? Exactly, <laughs> it doesn't make that. sense. How being nice is unattractive. It's like it's I'm so glad I'm out the freaking game, bro. I'm so glad I'm out the game. I found myself a beautiful wife, an amazing wife. I feel sorry for y'all. Because dudes, girls, it's just bad out there. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not challenging. It makes no sense, but it is, again, fucking reality. Women don't want to admit that they like chasing. They don't, because they feel like, no, that's not my role. But women are chasing because it makes it like when they catch you, they feel like, well, I work for it, uh, it's worth my time, and now I got to have him. I put some effort, this and that, you know. Women want to chase you, so don't be so available. But yeah, so that's it. You got to just keep her on her toes. Those were the two main Secret, I'm telling you, if you implement that when you're dating women, watch, watch how they're gonna like you. Watch. No sense, but watch. So yeah, so hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it helps you. <sighs> all right, man. This, this She was spitting facts. I ain't gonna lie to you. But ultimately, all her facts were spitting. And most of her tactics and strategies for were for like not good girls. Like the whole not paying and stuff like that and not taking them out. You know what I'm saying? That's like using tactics to make a girl like you and you not if you're looking for a long-term relationship you don't want to use them tactics you want to you want someone who you don't gotta basically trick into treating you good you know what i'm saying but if you're just trying to get the clappers on and trying to have a little fun you know what i'm saying then this stuff is going to work this stuff is literally how you do it is the sea is the master key the secret the secret ingredient to the krabby patty secret formula you know what i'm saying I, I can agree with most of the stuff she was saying. She didn't say nothing that was too far out of the, out of line or too much of a lie or nothing like that. And the fact that all this stuff that girls want doesn't make sense is crazy. It's crazy. They don't even know. They don't even know why at this point. 
Listen, I'm curious. Dudes, in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Ladies, in the comments, let me know. Do y'all see this in y'allself or y'all still lying to yourself? Be realistic. Be honest. But if y'all enjoyed this video, I really think that y'all enjoyed this video right here. Honestly, this is like a, a, a bad female. This is one you don't want to be with. She ended up sleeping with her husband's, bro her husband's brother, her, his best friend. You know what I'm saying? How's just y'all watch this video right here? But that's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.